My Mother Said I Never Should is about four women across almost 100 years, four women of one family. And it's really about love and the love they get from their parents and how that affects the decisions they make with their lives and what they do and what they don't do as a result. I was 25, living in a bedsit in Manchester, and I thought about my gran, who was born in Oldham, north of Manchester. And when she was the same age, she could choose to be a teacher or a nurse, and that was it. And when she got married, she'd have to stop. And I thought, wow, I could do anything with my life. What a change in two generations. And I thought about the extraordinary changes in women's lives over the last hundred years and how dramatic this is and the effect on family life. So I thought, there aren't any plays about that. I'd better write one. The really strange thing for me is this play is 30 years old and it's still being done everywhere. And I realise it's because most of the things in it just don't date. They're about what you want to do as a job, whether you want to have children, whether you're going to get married, what kind of family life you're going to make. Most of all, just are we going to find the kind of love we want? And the weird thing is, as I get older and became a mother, lots of the play affects me much more. It seems to grab you at any moment in your life. It's so exciting seeing this play being performed in British Sign Language as well as spoken English. It's opening it up. And the actors are phenomenal because they're using their bodies and their faces and their energy in the best way that actors ever do. They're so alert to every moment. And I just love this production. The design and the voice work and the movement work and the director's absolutely brilliant and the costume and design. I've just been watching them do one of the first scenes where they play themselves as children and I've never seen it captured quite so brilliantly. What I want audiences to feel is that they want to kind of rush up on stage and hug the characters because these people keep missing the moment when you should tell somebody how much you love them or how much you want them to succeed. But the best thing is when I see people in the audience feel that and they're going to go home and talk to each other about those things that maybe you've not spoken about for years.